welcome back to Tom's Life. Today's Sunday special is chilli pork casserole and you will save it with basmati rice. So the ingredients you need is one pork joint, four mushrooms, green chilies, two beef stock cubes, two carrots, salt and ground black pepper, basmati rice and one onion and garlic. First step, you're going to prep all your ingredients. I'm going to start off with the raw meat or pork. You first want to cut it in half, your pork. You want to put one to one side. And what you want to do is you want to chop it again in half. Be careful with your fingers. You kept it mostly together. And then what you want to do is you want to slice it. You might have to give it some force. Just go through the knife. So you've got nice finger pieces. So you just keep doing all that. Just like that. You're going to get a mixing bowl and you're going to place all your pieces in what you have chopped and you do the same with your other pork half. So next step you're going to prep all your vegetables. You're first going to start off with your mushrooms. So what you want to do is you just want to finally slice them. Just like that, I'll show you again. So you just flatten them and you just want to finally slice them. Always remember to move your fingers out the way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get a little bowl. You place all your mushrooms in and you keep doing that. And then we add our carrots with our mushrooms when we have prepped our carrots. So next step, you're going to prep your carrots. You first want to trim the ends. You want to get a peeler and you want to peel all the skin up and down. Keep turning it. Be careful on the sharp blade. If your skin get, if your peels get stuck, just give it a little tap. But just keep moving it up and down. Then we'll finally dice these into little cubes. I like to turn it the other way so it's more easy to peel. And you just keep moving it around. I will do the same with my other carrot when I have peeled this one. So you just keep moving it till you get all the skin off. So once you have peeled your carrots, you want to first chop them down the middle. And when you have chopped them down the middle, you just want to finally slice them. Move your fingers out the way. So you just keep chopping them into little pieces like that. You're going to get your bowl with your mushrooms. You're going to place all your carrots in, just like that, and then you finish off doing your carrot, and then you prep your, then you prep your onion, garlic, and chili. So next step, you're going to prep your garlic. You will get a garlic bulb, and you want to take two cloves of garlic off. You want to trim the ends. And you want to peel out the skin off just like that. Now you want to place your knife on top and you want to press down. You want to finally slice it. 
into three or four pieces and then you just want to finally chop it just like that then you want to get a little bowl you place all your garlic in and you do the same with your other garlic clove So next step you're going to prep your onion, you're first going to chop your end off. Then I like to flatten it so it's more easy to chop. Chop it down the middle. You want to chop the other ends off. Peel two layers of the skin. Off it like that. So once you have chopped your end off, you first want to chop it not all the way through. Then you turn around and you want to chop them into chunks. You go through the knife. And if they haven't gone all the way through, you just keep chopping them like that. You want them a bit chunky. You're going to get the same bowl with your garlic in, and you place all your onion in, and you'll just keep you just keep finishing off your onion. So next step, you're going to prep your green chilies. You want to trim the stalks. So you're just gonna trim all the stalks. I'm going to keep the i I'm going to keep the seeds in for a little bit of heatness. But you can just take them out and use just the flesh. So once you've chopped the ends off, you just wanna finally slice them. Always move to me always remember to move your fingers out the way. So you want to chop them into little pieces like that. You're going to get your you're going to get your garlic and onion. You're going to place all your green chilies in. Just like that. And like I always say after you use chilies, you want to give your hands a good rinse because you don't want them to you don't want them to go near your eyes because they might sting. So you're just gonna finish off the other chilies. So next step, you're going to get some hot water with a measuring jug and you want to put your two beef stock cubes in and you want to give these a good stir so they evaporate. It will take a few minutes. Give this a good stir for a minute or two. So next step you want to switch on your hob, you want to set it to high, you get a saucepan, you place it on the ring, you're going to put a little bit of vegetable oil, just a little drop, with a wooden spoon, you just give that a stir up around so it doesn't stick to your pan and then when this is nice and hot you'll start frying your pork now your pan should nice be nice and hot you want to place all your pork in with your wooden spoon you just want to break them apart if they stuck together So you're just going to brown these for a few minutes on each on, on one side and then you just give them a little toss like that. You want to keep the, you want to do this for three to five minutes. Then we add in all our green green chilies, onion and garlic, and that'll give flavour to our pork.
So as you can see, it's now starting to sizzle. I'm just going to give it another minute or two on each side. And then you'll start adding in your onion, garlic and green chilies. This will give flavour to the pan and it will coat into all the meat. And then you add in your then you add in your mushrooms and carrots, and then your stock and seasoning. And then we might add in our rice to give all the flavour to the sauce. But that is optional. So you're now going to get all your onion, garlic and chilli. And you want to give that a good stir in. Bring out the flavours and let them just soften in with the juice of our meat. Yes, all the way around the pan. Now you want to add in your carrots and mushrooms to the pan. So they can give flavour to our onions, garlic, chilli and pork. You carefully want to stir that in. Be careful it doesn't splash at you. Then you add in your stock and some seasoning. You want to pour in all your stock. Get it all out. Just give that a little bit of a stir. And any little any little chili flakes of your green chilies are just stuck to the bottom or the side. You will get that off. You will get that off the bottom of the pan with your with your wooden spoon. But just be careful it doesn't splash at you. And then in a minute you add in some seasoning, salt and ground black pepper. And if you want you can add in your rice too. Then you'll put the lid on to let it simmer and thicken for 15 minutes. So next step you want to add in some seasoning. Start off with some ground black pepper. And a little bit of ground salt. Just shake that off your hands and with your wooden spoon give that a little stir in to give flavour flavour and in a minute you add in some rice then you'll put you will lower it not to too low you'll place the lid on and let this thicken and keep your rice for 15 to 20 minutes Now you want to add in some basmati rice. You want to give that a good stir in. So that coats into all our stock, meat and, and vegetables. Carefully just give that a little stir for a few minutes. And then you'll put the lid on and you'll lower it. And then you just keep an eye on it for 15 to 20 minutes till your sauce has thickened and your your chili pork casserole with rice will be done. Now you want to place your lid on top and we we've lowered it to medium. You keep an eye on that for 10 to 15 minutes till it thickens and you cook your rice. So this is how you make my pork and chilli casserole with rice. I hope you like this recipe. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe and thank you.